Hey everyone, today is Friday, October 23rd. Uh, sorry, I was running a little bit behind today. I had to rearrange Google Classroom and stuff like that to get this ready for you. So, um, whoops, I have a typo there, Ms. Chapman. Okay, so anyway, today there's a couple of things I need you to do, okay? So your Google Classroom is set up a little bit different than it was. When you go here, first of all, you're going to see a little message. If you're quarantined, I need you to have someone come to the school today between 9 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. to pick up the book we're going to be reading for our next unit. It's called Before We Were Free, and I apologize for the short notice, okay? So if you can't make it here or if there's nobody who can because your home is quarantined, reach out to Miss Raybuck. And I have her email right there, dory.raybuck at jasmine.kyschools.us. Okay, your second topic here is important info. Nothing changed, okay? I am going to add something in there about your new Friday schedule, but I'll do that later. The third thing that's going to be here, so it's the second topic, okay? It's going to say formative summatives to track. So you will see this. Um, this is what you're going to use for today's assignment, okay? So um, you are going to see, and I have more posted here than you'll see. So the first thing down here at the bottom of it, you're going to see 923. That's the date we took the formative. You're going to see the word formative. Then the number one in bracket, that means it was the first formative that we took. And this is the standard, RI 8.2. The thing right above it will be the graded rubric for the first formative. And it'll have the same date. And you can't see the rest of it, but it'll have um, the standard listed. Okay? So anyway... The next one you're going to see is from October 2nd. Whoops, I put 12th on your instructions. But it's from the 2nd, and it'll say formative number 2, and then RI 8.6. So those are the two formatives you're going to be looking at to track today. And then right above it, you're going to see, again, the date. The date's off. I'm going to have to fix this stuff. But anyway, you're going to see graded rubric for formative two. And then that's kind of cut off again, okay? But anyway, so you'll see your formative, graded rubric, formative, graded rubric, okay? So, um, all right. So the uh, third topic is your assignment. It says Friday, October 23rd. There's your assignment due by 3 p.m. Okay, so today, 3 p.m. So here's the deal. They want us to start putting all the assignments per week. So starting next week, I'm going to go ahead and all the assignments are going to be under one topic for the week of blah, blah, blah. So you are just going to have to be responsible and look very carefully um, about what's due for that week. Okay, so it won't be separated by day anymore. So, um, hopefully that'll be easier for you, okay? So, they think it'll be easier for you to track things. Anyway, here's your bell work. So, number one, you got to complete your assignment by 3 p.m. today. You don't have any Google Meets in your classes. I thought you did, but you don't today. And so, we're just uh, posting the asynchronous stuff, okay? So, you're going to have a little assignment for all your classes today, including Core Connections, when you go down to the number two, that's just what I told you about. Okay, so do your assignment for me today. Do your assignments in all your classes. So here's the deal. Um, starting next week, all your asynchronous assignments, so the assignments that are due, um, the assignments for the days when you don't have Google Meet, they're going to be due at 4 p.m. every day. Okay, because you have to do Monday's assignment to be prepared for Tuesday. You have to do Tuesday's assignment to be prepared for Wednesday. If you have a formative on Wednesday and you don't do any of your assignments until Friday, you are not preparing for the formative. Okay, so in that respect, uh, 
the school decided you need to turn in your assignments by 4 p.m. If you're having an issue getting it completed, reach out to your teachers and talk to them about it, okay? The exception is Friday. You really need to have your assignments in by 3 p.m. on Friday so we can do the attendance for the week, okay? So then the fourth thing here, and this is super duper important, okay? So um, you are going to have Google Meets, and this is for virtual students and in-person students, okay? You are going to have Google Meets on every Friday, starting next week on October 30th. So this is what your Friday schedule will look like. And this is totally different than Monday through Thursday. This is just for Friday, okay? So from 9 to 9.25 is first period. 9.30 to 9.55 is second period. 10 to 10.25 is third period. 10.30 to 10.55 is fourth period. 11 to 11.25 is fifth period. 11.30 to 11.55 is sixth period. 12 o'clock to 12.25 is seventh period. Then you can eat. Yay. So um, as you can see, it's just a little 25-minute increments to touch base with you on Friday. Okay? So um, this is actually the bottom part. You can ignore and like number five. That was from a core connections class. Oops, I'll go and take that out. So anyway, um, and I already talked about arranging the assignments by week. Okay, so that's it for that. Let's look at your assignment. So um, here's the deal. I need you, of course, if you're listening to video, that's awesome because I need you to be sure you read all that stuff. So today you're going to start tracking your formative and summative data. The instructions are on the first tab of the Google Sheet, okay? And this is the video that I'm attaching to explain how to do it. So we already talked about where you can find your formatives and summatives. One of the formatives you're going to track is from September 23rd. The other one is from October 2nd. i got to change that date there. Okay, but um, the first one's over RI 8.2. The next one's over RI 8.6. Okay, so um, I'm just going to go ahead and hop over there and show you. So here is your assignment right there. And we're opening it up. So here it is. Okay, so it's a Google Sheet. And it says PDSA Data Tracker. So here's the first sheet. If you look at the bottom, just in case you're not used to using this, uh, you can see the tabs down here at the very bottom. Okay, the first one says instructions. The second one says RI 8.2. And you got all the little standards that we're going to look at this year. Okay, so um, what is data tracking? Well, um, have you ever come to class and you have no idea what it's about to be, what it's going to be about? Or if have you ever had a grade, and I know this has happened to y'all, and you're like, why do I have a C in here? Well, it's because you didn't do well on your formative. Why do I have an F in here? Well, it's because you didn't do your formatives, right? So tracking the data will help you keep track of why you have your grade, why, why you have the grade you do, how did you do, um, did you do well, have you mastered the standard? Okay, and um, our end year goal, by the way, is to have all of you increase at least one grade level in reading. Okay, measured by iReady. So I guess I should throw that out there. Okay, so what is mastery? Because you need to master a standard. All that means is that you have proven that you understand the topic and could complete assignments related to that topic by yourself. So you wouldn't need any help, okay? So what we're going to have you do on the Google Sheet is track all the scores of your formative and summative exams so you can see how much you're learning and if you're close to mastery of the standard. So here is, whoops. So here is um, da -da -da, a hint for you. If you're typing in a box, like, let's say I'm in J, this column. If I'm typing in this and it overruns and it's going outside the box, okay? So let's say I'm typing, I'm typing. See how it keeps going and going and going and going? And I don't want it to do that, right? I want it to stay here. 
Then I can go up here. I am clicked on the box. I go up to Format. I hit Text Wrapping, and then I hit Wrap. Boom. Now it's staying in the box where I want it. Okay? So that's just a little hint from you for you. Format, Text Wrapping, Wrap. Okay? So let's get rid of that stuff. Okay. So here's the deal. For each tab, you have a different standard. So today, you're going to fill out RI 8.2 and RI 8.6, okay? So when you're looking back at the instructions, it tells you what you put in each column, okay? So let's take a look at it. So if I was going to fill this out like it's mine, the date of the formative, well, we took our first formative September 23rd. So that's the first thing I'm putting here. And I did okay. I did proficient, so I got a three. Okay? So um, that's the first two columns, the date of the formative and then the score that you got. This third column, the reteaching, the orange one, is only if you actually retook the test, not if you revised it. Okay, so you will probably leave that blank. Over here, the plus, what did you do well on? So here in the delta, what do you need to work on? Those are um, the two sections you might need to do that little trick with formatting, wrap, and then wrap again, okay? And you can always grab the column here and drag it over to give you more room as well, okay? So whatever you want to do is fine. So um, anyway, what did you do well on? What, you know, do you, do you have, for example, like me, I might say I have... Um, or I believe I have mastered finding the central idea. Yay. Okay. So there we go. That's what I plus on. Delta might be I struggle with locating the best supporting detail. Okay. So that might be my delta, something I need to work on. Okay. The reflection part, reflect, I want you to think about why you think you did good on the plus section and why you didn't do so well on the delta. Okay, so I want you to think about what influenced you. So I might say for the reflect, I did not complete the monsters activity. Okay, so if my delta was talking about um, character setting and plot. Maybe that's what I can't find. So I didn't do that. So I did not get to practice. Okay. So that might be one of my reflections. Does that make sense? Oh, look what happened. It ran off the box. So I'm going to click on that box. I'm going to go up here and click format, text wrapping, and wrap. Ta-da! Okay. That's all you're doing, okay? So you're going to have that one. Then you're going to have the one from October 2nd. So October 2nd, I totally rocked it. I got a five, and I'm going to fill this stuff out, okay? So I'm going to double check the date on that second formative since I have two different dates, and I'll fix it in your Google Classroom. All right, so that's it. And remember, you're doing RI 8.2 and then RI 8.6. Okay, so there's two that you're working on today. Uh, so let me know if you have any questions. I'll think you, I think you'll do pretty well on this, and it shouldn't take you very much time. And then you can relax this weekend. Bye.